Well, good morning, all. Happy, happy Friday. Hope you're all doing well. Yes, as you can see, hood's open again. I did get the truck running yesterday. I got it jumped off, but come to find out, the battery's bad. <laughs> So if any of you guys have ever heard this, my buddy had told me uh, to never give somebody a jump who has a bad battery and because um, it could cause your battery to go bad. My truck actually has two batteries. So it could cause your battery to go bad or your alternator to go bad. So if that's ever happened to any of you, let me know in the comments. But uh, not too long ago, me and Julie were at dinner and we were leaving and there was a lady that was um, parked next to us so her car wouldn't start. And it was an older style car and I gave her a jump and uh, you know, sure enough, when I popped the hood, the battery's all corroded and duck but gave her a jump got her going needless to say there's a jump off this battery on this side and if you look right here see the water so evidently that battery is probably bad so I'm gonna charge it up I'm gonna try and crank it right now hopefully to crank and then uh, we'll go up to, to the store and get a, get a battery all right let's see kind of cold out so you got to let the blow plugs warm up Not quite. Not quite. Stay by. I'm gonna put it over to the start mode. See if that does anything. All right. Well, we're gonna let it charge for a little bit, and we'll we'll come back to it. So I guess I need to put my glasses on, figure out what kind of battery I need. So it looks like it is a 65PRM. 65PRM. All right, that's it. Well, I'm gonna let that charge for a bit. We do have some plans on getting into the cabin today. I um, obviously we're you know getting closer and closer to getting things done over here. I'm actually gonna walk over here to the sunshine because it is a bit chilly today here in Florida. The temperature actually is dropping today. It's gonna get cold again for a night, and then uh, ah, feels so much better. And then it'll be back to feeling good again. There you go. So yeah, um, we're gonna let that charge up. We'll get a battery. We're gonna get in the cabin. I got just man. There's a little bit of a leak by the front door. Is there? But before, the, before we put the new door in, and it's still there. I see. I'll kind of show you guys later on when I go in there. So I'm guessing it might be above it. I don't. I don't know where it's coming from. We gotta try and figure that out. And then, um, yeah. If you saw Julie's video, you know you heard what she said about the paint. Go figure. So, um, yeah. Well, if you don't know, then you got to go watch that video and see, find out what she said there at the beginning of her video and her ideas on the paint. Okay, well, I get warm. You go back to the truck. Let's go ahead and flop it over to start. All right, fingers crossed. Cross. Glow plugs warm up. That sucks a lot of the juice down too, though. It's kind of a bummer, but. I'm going to nap. Idle. Definitely something squeaking in there. Got to figure it out. Sounds like the alternator. That's the alternator's right there. So 
I'm watching my alternator gauge and it's uh, or my voltage gauge. It was bouncing a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. So worst case scenario, I guess absolute worst case scenario would be two new batteries and a new alternator. Man, so now I know not to, it's hard not to help people out when they need to jump, but now, that's the case, man, that's no good. I'd love so, at least there'd be more new parts on the truck. <laughs> so I got the battery, 159.36, I think is what it says. Um, I asked her as well, and she said yes, that jumping off a bad battery could cause your battery to get bad, as well as if you have weak batteries, the first good cold snap that comes will uh, take anything this week and kill it as well so um, two and two makes for a 150 dollar battery <laughs> you know the one thing about it though is I'm, I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to uh, to be able to go go and get one you know so not complaining about it it's just you know it's just part of those things that uh, happen in life and we just got to take them each day and uh, you know, take a breath and be like, hey, it's just it's the way God wanted today, and let's just have a great day and enjoy it. So, uh, let's go put his battery in and uh, start to work on cabin. Gotta find that leak though. Back from Napa, being as I could park the truck in the sun, well, you know what I did. Definitely starting to warm up, but uh, a little brisk for sure. A little brisk. Had to give myself a cup of Joe. A lot of you are probably like, man, your motor's dirty. Well, yeah. You know what they say? Like, I haven't talked to my mechanic, but he's like, if I wash it, then something's gonna go wrong. So, leave it dirty. Need a wrench. Need a wrench. Ah, got the wrench. I need my eyeballs. Oh man. I'm gonna use these. These I left in my pocket at the track. And they got some brutally scratched up, but I'll use these for now. This one thing is pretty chewed up, so um, I got to hold it with this. Try anyway, try to figure out how to hold it. We don't turn. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. One sec. Mm. So, what's happening is that right there keeps turning. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm trying. I guess if I go the right way. So, leave in the comments down below how many were like. Just go get another wrench. You know, only makes sense. It's been worked a few times. No doubt about it. There we go. Well, now you pulled out. All right, one sec. All right, think it's gonna start? Let's see. Ah! Whoa, you guys don't fall over. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Gotta take that one back, put the tools up. Oh in there. All right, so back in the cabin, well, right here, okay, so on the old door, it was rotted down here in the bottom. You see right here, you see where it's kind of wet right there? Oh, when it's completely dry, that's not there. Let's see if I get a better angle from in here. Yeah, you see it right there? So um, I started doing some examining uh, while my phone was charging. You just had to charge up. But I looked up here, come up here and show you. There, uh, it looks like he had had a problem with it before, and uh, that's probably why the doors rotted before. But if you look up here, he's got some silicone just right here above the door, and it's cracked right in there. Um, it looks like there might have been some penetration there before. I'm gonna go ahead and caulk this up for now and get that all caulked up because uh, ultimately, when I vinyl side this, that board's coming off, and I'll caulk. There's um. Actually, one of those things that go between plywood, whenever you put plywood together like that. I don't know, it's like a little metal thing. But I'll go ahead and once I pull that off, caulk all that. Once I put the siding on it, then um, then all the wood will be uh, protected, not exposed. And I won't have to worry about those things anymore. So I'll go ahead and caulk that up for now. That should be good. And then we'll get inside. Actually, I just pressurized the lines again. So, um, fingers crossed. We'll check the water heater here in a little bit. And I uh, hope, oh, there's poop right there. We better pick that up before I bring it inside. Yeah. Well, I just did miss it. Yeah. You remember that game High Lie? You guys know that game High Lie? That was the same thing. Little hooks. Can you guys even see me? Oh, man. I don't think you guys can see me do that, but anyway. All right, let's get the cork. It's nice and little. It's my, uh, what is it called, a Gerber? Yeah, a Gerber utility tool. It's a really good one. Use it for a long time. Let's see, sharpen it up some. So got it done, it's done, got it done, it's done. So I'm hoping that will take care of that little bit of a leak and um, we'll just go from there. And once again, once I get the uh, vinyl siding, which won't be too much longer, we take everything off and uh, vinyl side it over, uh, that should take care of any other uh, issues that possibly could be there, so. Oh man, so much to do before March. So like I said, I did pressurize the lines, coming in here checking. It is looking good. There is no water down there on the floor. Some of you ask, why did I have, why did I have the ones that had the 90s on them? When I originally um, got the first hot water heater, the things were on the side, or on the bottom, so it comes straight up. So unfortunately, that's what happened, and that's the way it is, so. Yeah. Okay. Checking in on the bathroom. Yep, still more work to go in here. Uh, I had a great idea by no other than D -D -D -D, Sean Goodman. I'm going to go ahead and pop off this sheetrock right here. I'm going to put another outlet on the wall for in the kitchen there. Because we got some pretty cool news about uh, the kitchen. So we're going to, I'm going to show you that maybe later on when Julie gets home. Oh, maybe not, I might not have enough time. But anyhow, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with that. And at least fill you in so you'll know what is happening with this right here, the kitchen right behind me. Exciting news, very exciting news.
I've been talking to Sean, he talked about the... Man, I gotta fix that. Julie's not gonna like that, so... I'll work on that. But, um, so... As you all know, we've been going back and forth with the cabinets. I sent the kind of design that I showed you all uh, to the cabinet guy at the end of the street. I hadn't heard back from him yet, but I know he's busy as a construction business. But ultimately, uh, the, the cabinet people had gotten back to us. They had a family emergency, and um, so therefore they had gotten back to us. They were able to piece together a kitchen with all the cabinets they had there on site, other than two, I believe, so that um, we were able to get a really good deal on an entire kitchen. So it's, I'm going to show you the design later on, but not only is it the kitchen, it is an island as well. And not only that, it's granite countertops uh, that they will come and install. I'll install the cabinets, but they'll come and install the granite countertops. And uh, they're, they're like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's going to be really, really nice. So ultimately, there is going to be like, we basically just like the thing I designed. Except they had all the cabinets that fit in our rating. Bam, we bring them in, I put them up. I think. But um, yeah, so right here, you know, it's going to be a wraparound countertop. The sink's going to go here. Right, this, right up to the edge of the window there. And there'll be countertop going around here. So we got the outlet over there, but I think I need to get the outlet over here. Uh, shout out big, again, thanks to Sean for saying that, because it makes it easy right now. Because I can take down the sheet rock on the other side, put it up, cut up a hole, don't have to worry about nothing on this side, and then I'll, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. And it's done. Oh yeah, so I'll be taking this piece of sheetrock down again. Um, 47 is the bottom of the box. It's right there. So pretty much right there. Well, I guess I'm going to peel this off again. And this off again. <laughs> yes, I do things three, four, five, six times, seems like. So I got it off. I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down. That way, I get some work done. Um, you know, as always, it's a it's a balance between this job being YouTube, this job trying to get this cabin done, the jobs that I have that I got to do, and my shows and all that. So, with that said, uh, I'll be back. I'm not sure when, but I'll be back. No, I didn't hit record. Well, I'm back now. I am back now. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, I hit recorded time. Back now, back now, and um, well, we got the outlet in. Boom. So that's gonna be the outlet over here. You know, we can get the one thing that plugs in. It's got four outlets on it, which will be fine. So uh, I got that in. When I finish getting that wired up, I gotta go buy some wire. And uh, Zoe comes in, she's like, that looks like a heart. It's because I love this place. Mm. All right, well. A lot more work to do, a lot more stuff to get done. I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, once again, everybody, thanks for watching, hanging out, liking, subscribing, hitting that all notification bell. That way you know each and every time that I am posting. Uh, and do the same thing with Julia's channel. Like, what you cook with Julia? She had a pretty good meal prep she just did the other day. And she talked about some things about the cabin that I'm not going to talk about. you got to go watch her video and you'll know. It's referring to the paint. So, anyway, until next time. Uh, if you're going to do something, do it two or three, four, maybe five times. Ba-da-boom.